Craig Yancey Stevenson, Sr., and Liberty Victoria Patterson. The two of you are embarking upon an adventurous voyage across the rest of the sea of the rest of life. You're standing now at the helm of a home about to be launched. The water here is, the bay is calm, but soon within days and months, the winds will blow harder and uh, the waves will curl higher. As you plow the deep, you'll pass over the watery graves of millions of sunken ships of marriages that were overcome by the billows, smashed by the rocks, and confused in the storms by the effect of compasses. Today, I'm going to give you a compass that works. It has two points. If both of you keep both of these points aligned, you'll surely and safely arrive at the heavenly harbor together at the end of your earthly voyage. The two compasses points are two simple instructions based on a verse of scripture, 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. The first needle of direction is this, walk with the master. The second compass point is work on your marriage. One of these without the other is as useless as your union as one of you without the other. That's important. Walk with the master. Work on your marriage. Both, but both of them align in both your lives will provide accurate navigation even in the wildest typhoons. Walk with the master and work with your marriage. The reason I can give you this golden compass with such confidence is because based as it is upon 1 John 1 7, it comes straight to the Lord himself. And who said in that verse, if we walk in the light of his presence, he, I mean, we will have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Now, if this ship that we are launching today on the sea of matrimony is the fellowship of 1 John 1 7, Jesus Christ will be the captain. And in the in the relationship will be a godly partnership, not a godless battleship. Amen? Amen. Amen. It will sail on when the soft winds of pleasant days blow across it. It will sail on when the whirlwinds of financial hardships swirl around it. It will sail on when the bright clouds of parental, which you got already got, and hunter responsibilities drift upon it. It will sail on when the billows of misunderstanding, sickness, tragedy, and death crash against it. It will sail on because it will be steered by Jesus Christ, blown on its way by the winds of the Holy Spirit, steadied by the anchors of the day Bible study, prayer, and regular church attendance. I think I'll read that again. Right. It will sail on because it will be steered by Jesus Christ, blown on its way by the winds of the Holy Spirit, steadied by the anchors of daily Bible study, prayer, and regular church attendance. Amen. And it will be loaded with the priceless cargo of that biblical sort of love that does so much remain so constant, but gives so frequently, acts so sensitively. The Bible teaches us to let our hearts be knit together in love. There will be times when it will be, seem easier to quit than to knit, but it's not. Just keep on knitting your hearts together. I'm talking to y'all now. Okay. Y'all keep knitting y'all's hearts together, committing yourself to Christ, submitting yourselves to each other, omitting the black curse of bad habits from your home, and omitting the fruit of the Spirit in the context of a godly family life. Amen. This is God's plan for you. This fellowship of love and excitement for all those who walk with the master and work in the marriage. If you pray against the Stephen and Liberty Victoria Passion no, no, no. <laughs> uh, have freely and deliberately chosen each other as partners in this holy estate and know of no just cause why you should not be so united in token thereof, will you please join your right hands? Yes, join your right hand. Pray. Will you repeat after me? And taking the woman I hold by the right hand. And taking the woman I hold by the right hand. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. 
Before God and these witnesses, I promise to love her. Before God and these witnesses, I promise to love her. To honor her. To honor her. And cherish her. In this relationship. Leaving all others. Leaving all others. Cleave only unto her. In all things, a true and faithful husband. In all things, a true and faithful husband. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Liberty, will you repeat after me? Okay. And taking the man I hold by the right hand. And taking the man I hold by the right hand. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. I promise to love him. I promise to love him. To honor him. To honor him. And cherish him. And cherish him. In this relationship. In this relationship. Leaving all others, leaving all others, cleave only unto him, cleave only unto him, and all things a true and faithful wife, and all things a true and faithful wife, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. And you are each given to the other for yes. richer or poor, for better yes. or worse, yes. in sickness and in health, till death shall you part. The wedding ring is a fitting symbol of these vows in two ways. The shape of the ring reminds us that marriage is a never-ending relationship which grows ever sweeter though through the ever encircling years and the gold gives us a lesson about the glory and the purity of a home Craig. will you please place the ring on liberty's finger and repeat after me With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. With love and joy. With love and joy. Through the grace of the Father. Through the grace of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Liberty. Will you place the ring on Craig's hand? With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I do would. With love and joy. With love and joy. Through the grace of the Father. Through the grace of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now upon this, upon your mutual promise, made in the presence of God and these witnesses, and according to the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 All right. <laughs> Is legal binding? Amen. <laughs> you know, so uh, y'all work on it. Work on the marriage. Follow the master. You can't go wrong. Now, you got witnesses here. Everybody here, witness y'all get them out. Yeah. And God witness. Yes. And y'all know how serious this is. You know? <laughs>